Hey guys, it's Kerry. I'm looking at amazing Chinese animals today. Gaoa occur in heavily fragmented populations in Yunnan and southeastern Tibet. Both sexes have horns that are flattened at the base and curved throughout their length and are bent inward and slightly backwards at their tips. Taken, found in the eastern Himalayas. Panda, they can easily stand on their hind legs and are commonly observed somersaulting, rolling and dust bathing. An unusual anatomic characteristic is an enlarged wrist bone that functions somewhat like a thumb, enabling pandas to handle food with considerable dexterity. The forepaws, teeth and jaws have adapted over time for bamboo consumption. The giant panda has still retained the digestive system of its carnivore ancestry and lacks the ability to digest cellulose, a main constituent of bamboo. Pandas solve this problem by rapidly passing impressive quantities of the grass through their digestive tracts on a daily basis. As much as 16 out of every 24 hours is spent feeding and pandas poop up to 50 times per day. The beautiful red golden pheasant. Brown bear. I'm calling this one my Himalayan brown bear. Males grow to 2.2 meters. They are usually a reddish brown or sandy color. A Suri brown bear, also known as the Iso brown bear and the black grizzly bear. It's a subspecies of the brown bear. A very large Asuri brown bear may be almost as big as a Kodiak bear in size. It is a different subspecies to the grizzly bear. The large curved claws on the forelimbs are longer than those on the hind limbs, measuring up to 10 centimeters along the curve. During combat, bears use their paws to strike their opponents in the chest or shoulders and bite the head or neck. The rear feet of adult bears measure up to 36 centimetres. The Tibetan blue bear is one of the rarest subspecies of bear in the world. The blue bear is rarely sighted in the wild. Horsky's horse. It is the only true extant wild horse in the world today. At one time they were extinct in the wild but have been reintroduced to the native habitat in Mongolia. It has a massive head with a long face and powerful jaw. South China tiger is possibly extinct in the wild. It's a similar height to the Bengal tiger, but differing in its skull and coat characteristics. Elephant. China's elephants are only found in a safe haven deep in the fragmented rainforest in the south of Yunnan province, near the border of Myanmar and Laos. In China, 
Asian elephants are under first level protection and the government has taken steps to conserve areas of elephant habitat and numbers are on the rise. When male elephants go into musk, they become sexually aggressive. Females prefer mates in musk because it indicates they are the most dominant and strongest males. There is always a courtship, ending up with them stroking each other with their trunks and the male may gently rest his trunk and chin on her back. Chinese water dragon Yak 2010 by Schleich Yak are well adapted to high altitudes having larger lungs and heart than cattle found at lower altitudes as well as greater capacity for transporting oxygen through their blood. To protect against the cold the udder in females and the scrotum in males are small and covered in a layer of hair. Females have four teeth. Malaysian tapir. The ancestor of this lived in China up until about 4,000 years ago, it was called the giant tapir. During courtship, the male produces a wheezing or whistling sound and will spray urine. The male and female stand nose to tail, sniffing genitals and begin a circling movement. The males have long prehensile penises, which can be used to grip helping the passage of sperm to ensure successful insemination during mating. Copulation lasts between 10 and 20 minutes, either on land or in the water. Clouded leopard, they live in dense tropical rainforests and jungles. Their main predators are tigers and leopards. The term Chinese leopard refers to the Amur leopard, the Indo-Chinese leopard and the Indian leopard. The Indo-Chinese leopards are more of a rusty red colour and are native to southern China and Southeast Asia. Snow leopard, they are found in the rugged mountains of the Himalayas on the northern front. They have been known to live up to nine metres which is six times their body length. For the Chinese, as well as the Indians, the tortoise symbolizes the universe. Please stay and watch another video with me. I'd love to read your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.